So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Lee Rader and I'm actually a Motives Field Consultant with the company. And I've been a licensed cosmetologist for, this is my 25th year. So if you've joined the webinar either last weekend or some other things that we've done, um, I'm very passionate about not only the cosmetology industry, but just the cosmetics industry and the beauty industry as a whole. And so Custom Blend is really one of my favorite things to talk about. I'm actually a former salon owner as well. So I had my salon for about 13 years and I know what it's like to start a salon from scratch and build it up. And that's actually when I found Custom Blend. So um, I actually introduced Custom Blend to my salon. It's brought in a lot lot of revenue for us it was one of those things that nobody else was doing and it created a lot of buzz and was just really successful for us so that kind of um, excelled my career a little bit I became a motive certified trainer and uh, started educating others so I love giving back to everyone so hopefully you guys will take away a few things tonight I actually have a special guest that I will introduce to you later as well um, but I do want to start with just saying that these webinars are in addition to all of the in-field training that we have available. So we do have a global uh, meeting and training seminar system all over the world. And so this is just support for after you leave the training. So some of the trainings that we have, we have a Motives one-to-one, -one, we have a skincare one-to-one, -one, and then we have a Motives custom blend your beauty. Now these trainings are gonna be being launched next month. They're gonna be brand new. Um, revised training so we're pretty excited about that and then we also have um, some shorter kind of workshop trainings we have a motives marketing training advanced skincare solutions advanced custom blending which is a brand new training as well and then the art of makeup which is a guided makeup application so I encourage all of you to actually visit your motivescosmetics.com site and just uh, click on the join tab and you can search events in your area and if there are if you don't have any motives trainings in your area please reach out to one of the motive certified trainers or me um, because our goal is to get training to everybody but I think most of you can probably admit that a lot of things can't be done online and it really is better to do that in-person hands-on training I know I learned better that way so last week I actually went under over custom blend consultations. So if you didn't have a chance to watch that webinar, I did post the recording in our official pro partners group. Um, but basically I went over that the first goal really is to complete those one-on-one -on -one consultations, which is going to build confidence in yourself and your brand um, with custom blend. So we encourage everyone right after you go to the class, go home and just blend because that's really the only way that you're going to retain the information and learn and and just get better at what you're doing so i did go over the six steps that i do for my consultations um, and then once you feel like you've mastered consultations the next step is you can leverage your time by hosting events and that's really what we're going to talk about tonight so by the the time i'm done talking tonight you will have learned three different ways that you can do custom blend events because we wanted to give you options in real life scenarios that we actually have proven in the field to work. But I do wanna let you know that we do have a hostess incentive program. And this program is all laid out for you already. So um, the way that it kind of works is when you have one-on-one -on -one consultations, a lot of women will be like, hey, is that something you can do where I can invite a bunch of girls over because this is a lot of fun? And you can be like, yeah, absolutely. That's, that is what we do with the hostess program. So basically they can earn up to $100 in free product. They get $20 for each of the tasks that they complete. So they get $20 for keeping their event on the original date. They get $20 if they have five or more people over the age of 18. They get another $20 if they do over $200 in sales with their event. They also get another $20 if they book two or more appointments with the guests. And then $20 to evaluate the business. So with the retail profit that you'll be getting from the event, that's more than enough to cover 
the hundred dollars and that's retail value so actually the cost for you would actually be quite a bit less than a hundred dollars and then you can give a bonus gift if they have outside sales of hundred dollars or more because you know there's always people that can't come to the event so I actually utilize this hostess program with any event that I do um, you can do it with custom blends you can do it with blend your beauty or I'm sorry um, beauty basics and all about skin and then and it's your time to shine event so there's a lot of benefits of having motives retail events it really allows you to connect with new people outside your network you know it's not always about like who you know either because you actually are going to meet a lot of people through those events because everybody always knows some someone that you don't know right also a way to identify those who may be looking for something more. It allows you to really build quickly by doing a one day trial run. So what we mean by that is if somebody's interested in the business and they wanna check out this whole custom blend thing, they can actually have an event before they even become a Motives partner. So that's pretty cool that we can kinda of get them their customer base and show them exactly how we do this. It increases your retailing and preferred customers, which I'm sure we all want. It leverages your time. It allows you to have a lot of fun with your team and uh, it's easy retail profit. So it also is success for new partners. So I, I encourage all of you to set up events, not only as for yourself, but your new partners and potential partners as well. So the goal of an event is that the average retail sales are gonna be about $1,000. With custom blend it can actually be quite a bit more profit than listed on this slide but if we would base um, the results on all of our prepackaged motives products because you will be retailing those as well at the custom blend event based on a on averages of 30% retail margin that's $300 in retail profit and then that would be about the 80% BV to dollar ratio on the whole sale cost of $700 would be about 560 BV to share with your team. So um, that's just average. And like, honestly, I think that the more you do events, your average goes up because you get more used to how to do them and it's just more effective when you do them. But just starting out, that would be an average of $1,000. So the first event that I'm going to cover is, I'm gonna cover an event that's available to all of you in a download so it's actually called blend your beauty so you can go ahead and download for free on unfranchise.com it's now under the help and training tab under support materials and then you can literally just type in blend your beauty so what's cool about all of our event outlines is we have everything laid out for you so I'm gonna go through um, each page of what we have just so that you're aware of everything. Now, we did just update this event, so it does look a little bit different than it did. It used to have a lot of red on it, um, but now it's a little bit more clean or simple. So on the first page of the event is the event invite. So these you can just print off and you can put the information of when, um, where, and you know who is obviously having the event and who they RSVP to. So I like to actually teach that you should invite people to events by inviting them three different ways. So I think we've all been invited to Facebook events where somebody just like, you know, invites like 2,000 people to a Facebook event and half the time we don't even really see the invite or we don't really know what it is or we just assume they invited everybody. So I don't want you guys to just go and make a Facebook event and invite people that way. What I want you guys to do is make a list of people that you are gonna invite to the event, and this is how you wanna coach you know, the people that you're doing events with too, and then you wanna actually personally reach out to them with a phone call. And what's cool about it is we have some scripts in the, in, or in the outline that you can actually use, but if it's somebody you know, like I literally would just call them up and say, uh, you know, Deborah, what are you doing this Thursday? Uh, I don't know nothing. Why? Oh my gosh, you're gonna want to come over to my house. I'm having this really, you know, cool person over that's gonna mix a bunch of makeup. I know it's something you're gonna like. 
I can only have so many people and I know that you are gonna love it. So I wanted to call you first before I called anybody else because I can only, you know, I have a limit of like 10 seats available. Can I count on you being there? And that's it. Um, and that's the first way. And of course, you're gonna be like, oh, that sounds like fun. I mean, you, you can use the scripts if it helps you. But if you're, you know, if you're like me, and you don't really want to sound like you're reading something, just be yourself and just be like, hey, what are you doing? Because I know that you're going to want to be here because everyone has a hard time finding a foundation, right? And then and then at that point, what I tell them is, I'm going to follow up with you by giving you all the information on where it is and what time and, and all that stuff. And that's when I would fill this out, take a picture of it, and you can text it to them. The other way that we can use these is if we're, you know, if we work in a salon or if we work in a more of a professional environment, you can definitely have these displayed as well. And then we also have um, postcards that you can print out as well that's available on your unfranchised business account as well. So we have one for liquid and we also have one for powder. So you can you know, use these postcards as a way to invite as well. So your goal with the event, and this is actually just a screenshot from the outline, this is the second page of the outline, is to identify two business partners, develop at least 10 new customers, sell a minimum of $100 per guest, so that's where we get the $1,000 um, you know, per event, and then identify a new host so that you can keep everything kind of rolling in action. So what I tell people to do is the best time to have it is around six o'clock after work. You don't want it too late because people will go home and they'll sit down and they won't want to leave again. If you have it too early, then you know they might be at work yet. So that really gives them enough time to usually get home from work. And when you're going to invite people, if you invite 30 people by phone, you will have about 10 people come. It's just how the numbers work. So make sure that you guys realize that, that you need to have quite a few people on your list that you're going to invite. Because you know how people are busy and things are going on. Now, what I recommend you to think about doing is having two events scheduled on different days. So you can have one one week and then one the following week or even two weeks later. So if they can't come to the first one, it's like, well, guess what? I have another one. Um, chances are they're going, to be, they're going to be able to come to one of them. So then once you personally invite them by phone, you can send them either that invite in the email or you can, I just take a picture and text it to them. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to them is to remind them of the event. Now, when I call to remind, I don't say, I'm just reminding you of the event. It's going to be, oh my gosh, I can't wait till tomorrow night. Um, you know what? I'll see you at six. So don't ask them if they're coming. Just assume because they said that they were, right? Now, if I'm doing the event for a new business partner or, you know, someone is, is going to host the event, sometimes I will actually confirm those guests for them. I'll just reach out and be like, oh my gosh, Deborah told me so much about you. I'm looking forward to meeting you. I just wanted to reach out prior just to see if you had any questions about foundation that you wanted me to cover or whatever it is, just to kind of introduce yourself. Um, that's a good way to do that. So what you're going to do then is you're going to make sure that you have all the custom blend liquid and powder products and have a, have a nice display and have a table to put them on. And then you're going to need a, a separate table for applying makeup. You can have all the printouts um, printed out, all the handouts ready. And then you're going to display other products like skincare, other motives products. And we have a list right here on the the outline so that you don't have to like think, oh my gosh, what do I all need? It's right there and you can check it off when you um, you know, have it all, all set for you. And then you're also going to, when the event starts, we have these events going from about 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., really no later than that it should be. And that actually does give a 30 minute social time so it gives people the chance to arrive. So you're not actually starting the event until 6.30, but you're letting them know that it really is starting at 6, um, even though we're going to give them about a half an hour. So you do want to start promptly, even if all the guests aren't there. So at 6.30, it's like, okay, we're getting this thing started. So 
blend your beauty event is one hour the total time is two out hours because we're giving you also another half an hour at the end to have some social time and then of course close and take sales so the day of the event um, at six o'clock all the guests are going to start arriving and what you're going to do is you're going to greet each guest you can have name tags you don't have to if, if that if you don't have them but it is kind of nice especially if you don't know people's names and then I like to have folders with the Blend Your Beauty survey and client record card, which I'll show you soon. And then I like to let them know that, you know, I'll hand them the folder and I'll just say, thank you so much for coming. If you want to go ahead and start filling out the Blend Your Beauty survey before the presentation, we're going to go ahead and get started in about a half an hour at 630. You can have mocha tonics and TLS shakes in the kitchen. If it's Later though, I would caution having mocha tonics. I actually love having the Beauty Bliss cocktail available there because it tastes so good. And you can have really light snacks, um, nothing messy, just really simple like a cheese and veggie tray. That's literally it, okay? Don't stress out and get a lot of stuff because they're not really there for that. So here are the Blend Your Beauty handouts. And again, these are available for you to print. So you will see a custom blend liquid survey, a custom blend powder survey. And these are designed where they can actually fill out their own information on the top. And then they're just gonna fill out these questions. They're gonna answer yes or no, no to those questions. And then we have the Blend Your Beauty event survey. So that is going to be something else that you're going to have them fill out. And it's basically just asking them um, different questions and it'll, it'll help you blend their, their items later. All right. So for the presentation, what you're going to do is you're going to have the new unfranchised owner or the host or hostess welcome and thank everyone for coming and have them share their two minute commercial so their two-minute commercial is really you know why they decided to either have the event or why they decided to start their motives business just to kind of warm everybody up and and get them kind of comfortable because they know the the person that invited them right and then they're going to introduce the presenter and have them give their two-minute commercial so that presenter could be you or it could be somebody else depending on who's helping you with the event but I'm going to encourage you, if you haven't been a presenter, to step up and do it. Um, I know a lot of people are nervous to do this at first, but like honestly, I tell people just have the outline and read it literally from the outline because you want to make sure that you keep your events duplicatable so that everyone is empowered to do them, right? Don't make it complicated where they're like, oh, I have to remember all this stuff. Like literally just have the outline out and use it. That's what it's there for. So the presenter is going to give their name, um, what they do, and, and, and introduce themselves. And have them reference what, why they filled out the Blend Your Beauty survey. So kind of go, go through that with them. And then the guests are going to introduce themselves, what they do and why they came. And then they're going to name one makeup item they can't live without, and then one makeup challenge they have. So you're already kind of getting to their challenges that way. And then after that, you're going to actually just explain to the group why our custom blend products are unique. So why custom blend? Because everyone is an individual with a unique col coloring, skin type, personality, lifestyle, and preference. And then you're going to go um, why what makes custom blend powder unique and go through mineral powder. So you can literally just read, again, all the bullet points from this event. Now, we do have some packages in the event that you are more than welcome to use. Um, you certainly don't have to, but people do like to purchase kits. So we do have um, a kit for $85, which includes the Motives Custom Blend Mineral Powder, Kabuki Brush, and Setting Spray. And then we have a $95 kit, which includes the Motives Custom Blend Liquid Foundation, a foundation brush, and setting spray. And then we have our last kit for $120, which includes a Motives Custom Blend Liquid Foundation, Mineral Powder, Foundation Brush, and Kabuki Brush. And after they purchase or decide what package they want, then of course we have add-on products as well. 
So once you go over all of the different benefits of custom blend, then you're gonna take one guest at a time and have them remove their makeup with one of our makeup remover towelettes, then mist with pH normalizer so that we balance out their skin and bring the pH back to normal. It's also gonna hydrate um, the skin before the custom blend as well. And then just do a quick consultation. I mean, go over their um, results that they circled or their answers on their sheet. And sometimes there's certain questions that they haven't answered or asked, or they don't know what it means. So just ask them again and make sure that you get a good understanding of, you know, what it is that you're gonna mix up for them. And then start with the liquid. So mix up the, the liquid blend, and then you can definitely set it with the powder if they're purchasing both. I found that most people purchase both. Um, I don't know, I, I think that, especially if they don't want to at first, then they see everybody else doing both and they're like, okay, maybe I do want both. So it's kind of like, I think they see everyone else doing it and it's like the fear of missing out or something. Um, so then after you mix all their blends up, you're gonna apply the blend to half of their face and then you're gonna have them apply it on the other half so that they leave feeling empowered to duplicate it on their own. So you will wanna go over some of the key benefits of the additional products, such as our Motives Complexion Perfection Face Primer, Motives Insta Smooth, Motives Pressed Bronzer, Miami Glow, the 10 Years Younger Makeup Spray um, that the guest will be using at their makeup station. And then the guests will apply their own makeup in the following steps at the station. So they're gonna prepare their skin with the moisturizer, they're gonna apply the Motives Primer, the Insta Smooth, they're gonna put their custom blend foundation on their one side, and then the custom blend powder followed by a little bit of bronzer and any other makeup that they wanna try. And then of course, set it with the makeup setting spray. Um, sometimes we do have to remind them of sanitation, such as no double dipping, have plenty of disposables there, um, use spatulas, and have hand sanit sanitizer as well. If you can have another person there at that station assisting them, um, that's awesome because it can kind of remind them of that too and let them know that you know they need to keep everything sanitary. And then in the outline, it actually goes over ending activities. So once you have everybody blended and everybody's looking good with their custom blends on and happy, then you're gonna have a helper pass out the order forms and review the forms and talk about the Blend Your Beauty survey, explain the special offers, and then of course remind them that the specials are only for tonight only. Um, that always helps with us because you know, they can't get it once they leave. So it does increase sales for us that way. And so if you do have other people helping you, just have them migrate around the room offering personal help to each guest. And then I like to have, with all of our events, we always have who we call the closer, who's gonna be in either a different area of the room or sometimes they're actually in the other room or a different room where each person can go in by them and they can add up their order and they can assist them with anything else that they wanna order. Sometimes it's nice just to have it in private so other people don't um, see how much they're spending or they don't hear some of the questions they have. People just seem to like that a little bit better. So you can have that kind of set up somewhere else. You can use Motive's order forms, um, which actually you can print. We have forms you can print out or you can actually order them. Their carbon copy forms that you can put their order in there as well. And then just make sure you collect all of the event surveys from each guest and um, that way you have everything to follow up for them as well. Now what I, what I do then is we actually book a lot of one-on-one -on -one consultations off of these events. So a lot of times people will want kind of more of like a makeup lesson or maybe they just want kind of more of that one-on-one -on -one attention so it's really good to have your calendar out so that you can book future events or even consultations so it's kind of a a cycle you know you start with one-on-one -on -one consultations which evolves into events which actually leads in, into one-on-one -on -one 
the consultation. So it just kind of keeps that cycle going. And then with the outline, we do have an order form as well. So you are more than welcome to use that order form, or like I said, you can use the blank order forms that we have as well. So when I mentioned scripts earlier, we even have scripts on um, what to say to close. So if you're kind of unsure of you know how to get everybody to you know pick what they want, um, you can definitely use the scripts in here. And we also have follow-up scripts as well. So we have scripts for those who couldn't come. And then we also have scripts for customers who made a purchase. So all in the outline for you guys. So that is a quick run through of how you do a Blend Your Beauty event. And now I'm gonna go through how to conduct a Blend Your Beauty launch. Um, so this is just one of the things that I started implementing in my own team. Um, we do this a lot with you know already industry professionals like maybe they're makeup artists or maybe they're cosmetologists and they already have you know quite a few people following them and maybe they have a clientele already um, this works great for them but you can also have a lot of success even if they're not a professional so the way that we go about this event is it's sort of like a musical chairs um, but it's it's pretty simple so what we do is we actually have whoever's hosting the event schedule the people that are interested in coming in actual appointment slots or time slots. Um, so depending on how many people you have helping for the event, we usually have about four people there helping. So if you don't have four people, I would definitely consider doing the Blend Your Beauty event, or you can do the event that we're gonna talk about after this one because this does take a few people. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them reach out to the people and invite them and book them into their time slot. So they're committing to coming at that time. So you can still have it from like six to eight um, and start booking those clients every 15 minutes. Now this is the only time that I use a Facebook event to invite people. However, the way that we use it is we're only putting the people committed to coming to the event in the Facebook event. So we're keeping it private um, so nobody else can see it. It's not a public event. And then we let them know we're gonna be putting them in that event and so we can share information about Custom Blend. So for about a week, we'll just post different things in the event just to get them excited. You know, show different videos of people mixing or um, listing some of the benefits and posting different pictures in the event. So it's getting them hyped up. And so by the time that they come, they already know a lot about Custom Blend. They're already excited to get it. They've already made the decision like, yes, I'm definitely getting it. So that is like the exception to the rule when it comes to Facebook events. Now, I still want you guys to make sure that you confirm the day before because don't assume they're seeing everything in the event um, on Facebook and, and such. So you do wanna make sure that they're still able to come at their appointment time. So the day of the event, we will have a greeter that welcomes the client, thanks them for coming, offer them a beverage such as the Beauty Bliss cocktail, and then they continue with the conversation by asking, are you getting both a liquid and a powder today? And we don't actually ask them, like, are you getting a liquid or a powder? We're assuming, you know, are you getting both a liquid and a powder today? Because we are having a special. So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, if you're getting them both together, you're saving like $5. Or you can give them a free gift, whatever it is you want to incentivize them. So I think um, if we have like 10 guests, usually nine guests choose both a liquid and a powder. And then the greeter is going to assist them with cleansing their face, basically is going to give them a makeup wipe, and then they're gonna instruct them to fill out the custom blend survey. So we do ask them if we can take before pictures in this, in this case. You can actually do a picture of them with their current foundation on as well, and then share what their new foundation looks like because you know, that's always fun to see like, wow, look how great her foundation looks now that it's, you know, custom blended for her. And then the next stop is going to be, they're gonna head over to the liquid custom blend station where 
we have somebody there that's going to assist in um, creating their liquid blend for them and formulate it for them. And then after that, they're gonna go to the powder station. So we have somebody there mixing up for the powder. And then our last station is we've got a touch up station. So they can actually, if you don't have enough people, you can just have all the products there. They can kind of play with you know, what we have. Or if you have someone there to assist them, that's awesome because people do like that. But just putting like a little lip gloss on, maybe a little bronzer, um, a little mascara is great. If you do have an extra person, you can have them write down the products on a face chart. That way they have you know, a list of everything that they have on their face for when they go to the closer station. And don't forget the after picture, because that's crucial. So then once they, once they go through all the stations, and I do wanna add, if you run behind with the stations, people usually don't care because they're all like, they usually all end up knowing each other and they're all mingling and talking. And so don't worry about timing and, and getting backed up. If you only have like one person blending, then just make the appointments like a half an hour. Just kind of space them out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of fun with that. So then we have someone close the sales. So then the client will go to the closer and this person will have the order forms and will close the sale. So after the event, you wanna make sure that you register customers with their information. We don't typically do that at the event. We just get all of their information and make sure that you know, they're registered um, before we place their order. And then we do place their order. And then we create a my list with all the products that are on the face chart so that we can share a link to that list so that the client always has a list of everything that was used. And then we, we do um, follow up by sharing that link, but we also give them their login to their shop.com account so that they can you know, order things from Modus Cosmetics as well. And then that's where we'll book them for their one-on-one -on -one consultations for a more personalized session and add them to a VIP group if you have one so that you can continue to build the relationship. And I talked a lot about that last week on how you know it's a tool that you can really utilize to continue to follow up and build that relationship um, you know continually even after time goes by and then now we're able to start to implement the hostess program so a lot of these ladies again they have so much fun that they're just like is this something that we can do and so what we'll do at this point if they want to have their own event is we will actually have um, we'll go to their house and have them all sit around the table and do similar to what I'm going to have actually my guest tonight talk about. So my guest tonight is Martha, and I'm sure that you guys already know this amazing woman. She is um, just, she helps with so much. So I just really do appreciate her so much. And she is just rocking it in the field and she's got a lot of great ideas and and uh, a lot to share with everybody. But she is a, form, or a former salon owner as well. So we do have that in common. She has been in the industry for two decades as well. So she's been around quite a bit. She's a freelance makeup artist. She's a nationally certified massage therapist. She's a motive certified trainer. I actually couldn't fit everything on these slides, Martha because you have so many you know, accolades and talents. So, um, but thank you so much for being here tonight. And I'm gonna let you share with everybody how you um, implement your events. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate y'all having me on tonight. So there's many different uh, things that you can do to have a custom blend event. Uh, like Lee said, there's a couple that are in the back office. Um, this particular one is not in the back office. Um, maybe we, we can put it back there soon. But um, the custom blend event that I do, I like to call it a round table. Um, and the reason that I call it a round table is I really get um, the people involved in the event itself. So I kind of set everybody up around the table, whether it be six people or 10 people. I try not to get over 10. Um, it gets a little crazy trying to um, kind of conduct the party after uh, 10 people, but I kind of get everybody around, 
um, the table and we go from there. So prior to the party starting, um, we create a station for every guest. Uh, so if you see to the picture on the right, um, every single person has a liquid um, survey. Under that liquid survey, there's a powder survey. Under that powder survey, there's an order form. We also put a beaker, all the mixing tools, the liquid bottles, uh, the powder containers, and um, I usually supply them with like a pencil or pen um, to write with. Um, and then on um, like in the middle of the table, I always have the shopping annuity hand sanitizer because we want to keep everything sanitized, especially because we're going to be passing everything around the table for people to use. Um, paper towels, mirrors. You can have mirrors for every single station if you want to. Um, sometimes I only have four guests, so everybody has a mirror, and sometimes it's 10, and so um, not everybody has one, but we kind of pass it around and share. Um, you can get those at the dollar store, um, which which is actually a partner store. So um, you can get a little IBV and get your mirrors there. Um, I also always have a toner in the center. I usually have the skin intelligence toner because that's really good for all skin types. Um, and then the moisturizer that I usually have in the middle is the Vita Shield C and E. Um, again, because that one's really good for all skin types as well. Um, I always have the primer, the Insta Smooth, the Q-tips, and cotton rounds. So I kind of set everything up so that every ha everybody has everything they need to conduct the Blend Your Beauty Roundtable. Um, this is actually another little event we did. If you notice, there's little cups around um, the table because we were going to do your beauty cocktail. Uh, sometimes I put the beauty cocktail on the table, and sometimes I actually create a station separate from the table where we're doing all the custom blend, depending on the size of the house, um, how much room we have, and where we're going to be conducting everything at. But usually at the start of the party, when everybody gets there, the first thing I do is gather everyone around the beauty cocktail station and we kind of mix it like it's a mixed drink like we're behind the bar and we put it in a, um, the little mixing thing that bartenders have and we put ice in it and we mix it up and then we kind of serve it um, in nice little pretty cups the cups that you see we got them at the dollar store as well uh, another partner store uh, disposable cups but it looks pretty um, and it looks nice they think they're having a cocktail um, but I also explained to them the benefits of all the beauty blend and the aloe um, I think that incorporating some of our isotonics is super important um, because beauty starts from the inside and so so I always like to uh, take a little bit of time and, uh, and talk about it so that people know that um, we have that available to them to help with maybe some of their skin issues. Um, again, with the snacks, I know that Lee has talked about this before with the other events. Um, for, for the snacks, always keep it simple. Um, we're there to custom blend, have a good time, share what we have, um, and we don't want somebody just like gathering around the, the food and just like drinking and eating um, because that's not what we're there for. Um, but we do want them to have a good time. So always have water, coffee. Um, if you want to have wine, you can. A lot of the times I don't. And then sometimes I do. It just depends. Cheese, grapes, things that are simple, easy, and clean. Um, so it's kind of funny that in the, I've never done an event off of one of the beauty the beauty ones in the back office, which is kind of funny. I'm sorry, I haven't, but I've always done it this way. And it says cheese and grapes on there too. So <laughs> easy, duplicatable. <laughs> um, and then everyone, I kind of welcome everybody to the party and um, have them come and sit down. And um, I give them my two minute commercial. I tell them why I'm with motives and I give a little background about the business. Um, see how everybody's kind of like gathered around the table, listening, um, they'll start making their own blend. Also, if you have a host with you or if you're doing this as somebody's launch party um, or if you're doing this to help somebody uh, gain financial income so that they can register their business, I always have them, I always introduce them and have them give their two minute commercial. Um, after we do that, I talk a little bit about custom blend, liquid and powder. I go through all, all the benefits and what makes us unique. I also give them the price and then during that time I say so who would like a custom liquid and who would like a custom powder. I think it's really important to kind of address this because um, some people have problems with the sale right they don't they don't want to sell anything. Um, so 
what I've noticed at the round table when I do this and I tell people like the liquid is 55 and the powder is 45, um, even though we've mentioned it prior to the party, everybody looks at each other like um, we have to buy something. And um, some people will raise their hands and some people will say, oh, well, I don't want to buy it tonight. Um, can I t a sample it first? I don't do samples during this time because um, I think it gives us a disservice when we start sampling products out. Um, so I just really say, oh no, you know, but what you can do is if you don't want to purchase the product tonight because you're a little bit concerned about, um, you know, irritation or being allergic, I said, why don't you just go ahead and fill out the liquid sheet? And the reason that I tell them that is so that they can really pay attention to the questions that I'm asking and they can answer the questions for themselves because I do address like who is allergic to this or who's allergic to that. And what's funny, by the end of the time that they're done filling the survey out, um, they change their mind and then they end up buying the product anyway. I don't know if it's um, they see what everybody else is doing and they get excited and so they want to try it too. So during that time, I have them fill out their personal info on the top of both liquid and the powder sheets, depending on which one they want and if they want both of them, then they do both. If they just want one, they can do the one. Or if they're unsure, I tell them to fill it out anyway. Um, that way I have their info. Um, and the one thing that I do with the questionnaire is I walk through them step by step. So I stand at the front of the table, everybody's listening, and I say, uh, number one, who wants sunscreen? And before you answer yes or no, um, our sunscreen has a pomegranate base. It's going to increase our um, the sunscreen to this amount if you put five milliliters in. If you put 10 milliliters in, it's going to do this. If uh, you put sunscreen, it's going to uh, take away a little bit of the pigment. And so I just kind of explain each step, one through 10, so that they can answer them. Because a lot of the times people don't know like what a BB cream is or they don't know um, what matte or dewy is. So I kind of go through all the steps and just um, explain it to them. And then after all the questions are answered, um, we go through the steps. Number one, again, I say, who said yes to sunscreen? And um, I pass the sunscreen around. I kind of explain to them with a little scoop, you know, two scoops is five milliliters. I pass the sunscreen to every single person to put the sunscreen in and they do it themselves. And then to Beauty Balm, I do the same thing. Step three, um, who wants extra coverage? I uh, go through the steps with every single person. Now, when we get to the matching step, um, what I usually do is I tell them that they're going to be matching the person to uh, the right. And I explain to them how to stripe the colors. So if they say light, it's going to be ivory and porcelain. If they say medium, it's going to be beige and tan. If they say dark, it's going to be the other one. So they'll, they'll stripe those on the person to the right. And then when they're done striping them, they'll stripe the people on the left. And by the time all that is done, their base is already starting to oxidize. And so then what I do is start at one end of the table and have everybody look at them and say, hey, so if you were to start, which base, base shade would you start with? So everybody turns and looks at the one person and collectively everybody is like discussing on which one they think is the best. And you'd be surprised what people uh, see and don't see. Um, after they, everybody, we go around the whole table and everybody decides what color is going to be the, everybody's base shades. Then we start again with the first person and we decide, are we going to lighten it? Or are we going to darken it? Or are we just going to leave it? And I don't make any of the decisions. I normally let everybody at the table make, a, make all the decisions. And I just say, what do you think? What do you see? How do you feel? Uh, do you think we should leave it? And, and they're really interactive and everybody, you know, throws in their two cents. Um, sometimes it gets a little hectic and some people throw in a little bit more than the two cents. And it kind of gets a little, um, it kind of gets funny just to watch other people um, trying to blend. It's pretty cool. Um, after they decide whether they like it or not, again, we go one by one and have every single person look at each other's skin tone. And I let them decide what they see in people's skin. And it's pretty cool. A lot of people will actually see a lot of the undertones, like the yellows and the blues and the pinks and the greens. And some people just say, I see brown. It looks like skin. And um, 
that's pretty cool too. Fine, no problem. And uh, we just add whatever they tell us to add into their blend. Um, we mix it, we stripe it, and we keep doing that process until every person has the perfect shade. Um, once it's perfected, the other thing I like to do because seeing is believing, and I believe this step is super important because this is, I think, what sets us apart from everybody else. Once the custom blend is perfected, I have it put the put it on one side of the face without prepping. They don't prep it, they don't prime it, they don't moisturize it, and we do not finish the blend itself. Um, we just stop after the toners and we apply on one side of the face. Um, after, whenever they're putting their makeup on one side of the face, I go around and I fill the rest of the additives like the um, copper peptides and the uh, uh, hydrator and oil control. Um, I'll go and the primers. I'll go and add all that stuff in while they're putting it on one side of the one side of the face. Then I'll mix all that up. Um, after I do all of that, um, so after I go around with all the additives, I um, have them. I talk about prepping. So prepping is important. The other thing that people don't do is skin prep. Um, most people at home put their foundation straight on um, their skin without having any prep going on. So I always have the, the guests prep their skin. So I explain to them why it's important. Um, I tell them why it's important to use the toner, how it balances out the skin and preps the skin for the moisturizer. Um, I have them moisturize the skin and tell them, you know, your skin needs a drink of water for it to be able to um, put the be prepared for your foundation to go on. Um, and just like you would prime a car, you got to prime your face so that the foundation stays. And then, of course, you know, not all of us have super perfect skin and we have things that we want to kind of hide. And so I always recommend the Insta Smooth because it gives you a flawless um, canvas to work on. So whenever you do put the final foundation on, it looks really flawless. Um, after they, everybody goes around, I pass everything around and everybody preps and primes their own skin. I have them apply the finished custom blend foundation um, over the prep skin. What I love about this is what they see in the mirror. Um, during this process, I also check to see if there's anything that needs to be fixed. Um, at the end of the day, I do want them to go home with the perfect blend. So if there's anything that I see that needs to be adjusted, I'll just quietly go around and adjust everything. Um, and at the same time, the whole entire time they're doing this, they're writing everything on their custom blend sheet. Um, and once it's perfect, um, I have them grab a mirror and I have them look at that mirror because you can see the one side that is has no prep and it just has the foundation on with none of the skincare additives. And you can see the other side of the face where it is prepped and it has all the skincare and it has the primer in it. You can see the lifting, you can see the firming and seeing is believing, right? So once they see that prepping the skin and having skincare in your foundation is important, um, they'll increase the sales for that night. Um, and then we move on to powder. Uh, usually the powder sheets, I have them pretty much circle what they circled on the um, liquid sheet, unless it's a little bit different. I'll tell them to go ahead and circle that. And then we make the powder using the three circle method. I think it's easier for them to understand whenever I put the three circles, you know, there's three circles, the custom blend is three teaspoons, and then we break that up for them. Um, I add the same base color. So if they were light in um, the liquid, I automatically know they're going to be light in the powder. So I kind of just go around and say, if you were light with the liquid, you're going to be light in the powder. If you want sunscreen, let's put it in this circle. If you want this, let's put it in that circle. And um, at the very end, after we add all the fun stuff that the powder has, we add the toners. I normally add the same toners as the liquid, except for if we added two yellow I only add one into the powder. And the reason that I do that so that they have, sometimes you don't necessarily need all those toners in the powder, but it's pretty cool whenever you can add all of them in there for them to see and mix it up. And then we'll swipe it and we'll adjust it if we need it. Um, a lot of the times it doesn't need adjusting. It just 
that powder is amazing. I don't know. Um, after that, we usually go over everything, including the skincare and the beauty cocktail again. Um, but at this point, I have them take their um, order form and put it at the top. And I'll tell them, so this is the beauty, uh, the Isotonics Beauty Blend. This is the cost. Um, I'll tell them this is the aloe and this is the cost. And then I'll go through the skin uh, care regimen that we went through and all that fun stuff. And I'll tell them if you really liked you know, the skin, the toner, put a star next to it if you want to take it home tonight. If um, you can't take it home tonight, but you want it in a couple of weeks, put a little dot on it. And I tell them that I'm going to collect all of the order forms and the uh, custom blend survey sheets so that I have them um, at the at the end of the party. And then I'll have them for the future as well. And that's usually how I close the sale is I let them quietly put a star or a circle about on what they want tonight or what they want in the future. Um, and I will say I've done, man, how many of these beauty roundtable events? It has to be in like the 20s. I've done quite a bit of them. And um, I have had a couple that were over 10 guests. It does get a little hectic, but if you have other people with you that either know how to custom blend or are just there supporting you as a business partner, um, you can get it done. It just takes a little longer. And I think it's important just so that y'all know that Sometimes these events, whether it's an event that you got out of the back office or one of our awesome uh, custom blend roundtables, um, what we see on the sheets, if you follow it, it's super duplicatable, it's super simple, and people have a really good time. Um, and sometimes, like I said, it does get a little hectic. Sometimes people have kids. Um, the last one, I think there was like 10 kids running around while I was doing the custom blend round table. And uh, one of the little kids was crying and I picked him up like he was mine and I put him on my hip. And, you know, I just kept on rolling through the punches and got everybody blended. And it was pretty cool. We still had a good time. Now, um, I know y'all want to talk about money too, like how profitable is this? So this party, when you do a round table, it takes anywhere from two to two and a half hours. And um, the highest round table that I've experienced was with 11 people and every single person did buy a custom blend liquid and powder. At the very beginning of the, the um, event, only about six people seemed interested um, and had said, oh, I'm going to buy a liquid and a powder. But by the time we had already gotten started, people were starting to get excited and they started looking to their left and they're, they're blending and looking to their right and they're blending and they're like, man, I'm kind of feeling left out. Um, that party ended up being just with a custom blend was $1,100. Um, when you factor in all the skincare that I showed, because Seeing is believing. Again, remember I did the half and half face. I do that for a reason. Um, they ended up buying, um, I think it was $425 worth of uh, skincare, primer, and things like that. Um, so I think these events are super profitable, whether it's 11 people. The least amount of people I had was two. And um, with, for a custom blend, that was a $200 event. But after all the skincare and the beauty blend, because there was only two people there, I got to speak more in depth about the nutraceuticals. And that party ended up having like $800 in sales. Wow, that's great. And I think that's what happens because the events that we've done too, where people are mixing their own, they really love that. They're like, oh, wow, I get to put green in here. Or I get to put blue in here. And and the fact that you're like teaching them as you're going through it, they're blending their own blend. And right. you're basically doing a class with them. So I find that they do order more that way. They definitely do order more. And the other thing that I like about um, doing the round table is because they're doing it on their own. It puts them in the position to say, you know what? If she's doing this and this is how she's doing it, why can't I do it? It's very simple. There's a system. She's going one through 10. She's explaining, you know, what sunscreen is, but not so much in depth where I look like I'm the know-it-all. But, you know, 
enough to where they can understand what's going on and they can see themselves doing it. Um, I can tell you that I have um, registered a couple of business partners because they have seen how simple Custom Blend is and um, they are not makeup artists and they have nothing to do with makeup and it's just from them watching and listening and seeing how simple it really is to do Custom Blend. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that, Martha. And I hope that like all three of those events, like you could literally do all of them at different times. Don't get stuck on doing just one, but once you find your rhythm, it's very powerful. And I think even the way that Martha went over her events, you can definitely do that with just yourself. So if you're like thinking, well, I don't have, you know, a lot of people to help with the events or I don't really you know, have like a lot of support in my area, you can do that event on your own. I mean, that's there's a, no reason why you can't. That's a great point, Lee, because whenever I uh, started my business, I just want people to know that I started out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, Market America is not big in <laughs> Albuquerque, New Mexico. A lot of people don't know what it is and we don't have a GMTSS. So a lot of the events um, that I've been having for such a long time. It was either me like waving the white flag, like, hey, come listen mm -hmm. to me. You'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and then just slowly but surely after doing the events, the people who were attending the events ended up being business partners. And, um, you know, there was only like three or four of us um, waving the motives flag. <laughs> so it makes it fun. I love it. And I've even branched off and done events like you just went through, but with other products. So we've, we've done like eyes and lips events where, you know, all the, the guests are making their own other custom blend products as well. So like, just honestly, you guys have fun with it and people will keep having them if they're fun. Cause like, I mean, get a bunch of girls together and mix makeup. Like who, who doesn't want to do that? Right. <laughs> I know I love doing it. <laughs> I know. It's like, I'm there for sure. You know, so, you know, like, honestly, just um, what I want you guys to do is get out your calendar and just schedule some events in there because if you schedule it, it'll happen. If you keep putting it off, it won't happen. So schedule like what nights you're going to do events on, and then you can find people to host the events for you. But first block off that time because Otherwise, we'll just fill it up with other things. So think about it. Like, do you want to do one event a month? Do you want to do two? Do you want to maybe do one event every week? And then next week, we're going to go over, you know, how to create goals and an action plan and um, how to kind of build your business basically with Custom Blend because that's important to know. Like, okay, well, now I know how to do consultations. Now I know how to do events. Now what? So thank you so much for sharing all that, Martha. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I uh, love sharing with the field and helping anyone that I can make it to the next level. You know, that's super important to me. Um, I do this business because I love helping others. Exactly. That's what it's all about. And you have a training coming up, it looks like, on Saturday, April 6th. She's going to be doing a custom blend training in Buda, Texas. And then we also have um, Mary... Hussie is going to be doing one on April 7th in Dover, New Hampshire, and then she's going to have another one on May 19th in Braintree, Massachusetts. And then we've got Emily doing one in New Hyde Park, um, New York, which is going to be on Monday, April 8th. We've got a lot of trainings at the beginning of April coming up. And then Maleva Epperson is going to have one on... Let's see, Sunday, April 14th in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. All the flyers are different, so I kind of have to search for them. I'll be coming to Pennsylvania to Palmyra on June 9th. I'll be doing a custom blend training there. And then Martha's going to also be in Arizona. So she's going to be there the weekend of June 29th doing custom blend motives and skincare. So if you guys, again, are looking for trainings in your area, you can go to motivescosmetics.com and look there. And you can also look on your GMTSS um, in your unfranchised account as well for location near you. 
Um, but next week I am doing another custom blend webinar. And like I said, we're going to be going over building your business with custom blend. It's going to be the same time as it was tonight. Um, but keep in mind that every single Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we actually do something for Motives Monday, whether it's a webinar or a conference call. And we have some type of education for you all. So just get used to looking for that. I do post everything in our Modus Cosmetics official pro partners group. And I also make events in that group. So if you're kind of searching, just go to events and you can see what is coming up. Um, we also send it out in the unfranchised blog and also news and announcements. So check your email and you know let me know if there's things that you guys want to hear because we definitely wanna keep bringing you stuff that's gonna help you guys grow. So we will stick around and answer any questions you all have. Um, so go ahead and, and type them in either the question or the chat box and we'll stay as long as we, we have to for you guys. But otherwise, thank you all so much for joining us tonight and have a good rest of your week.